Hello and welcome to Arbitrary 20 and our second uh, episode of the Adrana campaign. Um, and uh, I'll give a little recap here. It'll be a bit of a longer one because this is, for us, this is the third session. But um, we had some video troubles with the last one, so a little bit of a longer recap for us and for you guys. And yeah, so. It started off with them heading into this uh, cellar. They had set heading into the uh, dungeon that had opened up under the cellar at the end of the last episode. Um, after some resting and speaking to the lieutenant again, they went down, and the things they ran into at the beginning, um, they went down to this stone room below the cellar and they found a fountain of blood with three sort of buttons on it. And there was kind of this sort of disagreement between <laughs> the party of whether to go down or not. Um, Imch and Flick were trying to get um, Mila and Flandolf to go down and there was a bit of argument until Imch finally just pressed all the buttons himself and opened his way into the dungeon. And um, further down, uh, they went into this extremely long staircase with these bolts of white lightning that they couldn't quite figure out what they did um, all the way down. They didn't seem to have any effect down. But, I don't know. Continued down, they found sort of this um, coil-like uh, tower at the bottom of the uh, staircase, and the skull on top that was seeming to cast this lightning that was going through the whole chamber. Um, and uh, they were not able to disable that, but they were able to find inside this tower there's just there's a small lever. And after some continued debate of whether to continue, they, they decided to continue. Um, and they found a, an empty, um, another empty stone room, similar to the one with the blood fountain, but instead in the center sat a coffin um, with a symbol that our missing player tonight, Mila, recognized um, as the symbol of Barzun, the undying soldier. They weren't sure who that was, but they were able to recognize the symbol, and it was an ancient um, person from um, the war that the war of the reckoning that split the world into several pieces. And they ended up um, walking towards the coffin, and some sort of reverse gravity effect was applied, uh, putting them on the ceiling. And the only one that was able to figure out how to get off the ceiling was Flandolf. Um, well, and you never, and Flake never really had a problem, yeah. but he walks, <laughs> he has sort of a spider climb ability, and he walked over to the uh, coffin and touched it, uh, triggering an explosion and a false floor under the coffin, causing, well, possibly causing them to fall, but um, everybody was able to catch themselves and slowly climb down. Uh, well, before they climbed down, actually, you cast scene visibility and saw somebody behind you um, and attempted to engage with them, but they teleported straight down to the end and then you chased them through this cave system um, all the way into the exact same room that you were previously in um, with the coffin in the center and this, um, this stone chamber around you. And they seemed to do some kind of summoning chant to try to get whatever was in this coffin to come out of it. And I believe Flandolf, yeah, uh, after a few hits, Flandolf landed the killing blow with, I believe, another catapult spell. Was it? It's the best spell. Uh, that's <laughs> all, I, all I have to say. And I think that is exactly where we left off, right there. So. A bit beaten and bruised. Um, and right about that moment, you hear somebody running up behind you, um, and you all turn and look. Caitlin, if you'd like to describe your character. Ah, my character is named Valdana de la Rue. She is a 
tall, incredibly pale, almost translucent white vampire. So, uh, with jet black hair and a necklace that is a rose pendant um, with gold edges. And as you look at her, she looks to be around 27, but at the same time, you just keep staring, and she seems a lot older than that. Uh, wearing, of course, all black, uh, almost to blend in with the shadows around her. Uh, that's, that's her. Turn around, that is who you see. Right now. Ready my axe in case there's another coming. All right. You see, you see a large minotaur. <laughs> 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 okay, okay real, real fast. Is there like anybody else in this room? Like, was the, was the there is the dead person behind the coffin. Uh, with Mila has her, I believe, lance jab into right. that person, uh, likely pulling it out now. And you all turn to see them. That's the only other person. There's you, there's you four, she just joined, and then there's you. You can handle it. I'm gonna loot the body. Okay. Well, fair okay. enough. Hey, hang on. Who, who goes there? Who is this lady? I'm making an investigation check. Investigation check. Ah. Well, what's that? <laughs> well, I got a seven. Well, there's a few things that Barbara explained. She had two um, daggers, uh, short swords. That's her side. Oh, that was less than three feet on the side, would you say? Do they happen to weigh between one and five pounds? <laughs> Probably. I'll take both of them. This is a degree of um, elvish design. And you also find a spell book. All right, that's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I got um, some spells. <laughs> it'll take more time because it's in a different. Oh, that's like, disappointing. You'll have to like go. Over. It's All right, but I found a spell. It's in a different language. Well, look how they're drawing weapons. Well, actually, you're like, look, it's a book. It's a book. No, you said you did <laughs> read it. best weapon. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I should read <laughs> common, elvish, abyssal, and infernal. I'm trying to think of what this person would be. Just think of it as if if there's a language that you probably don't want us to understand, my character just happens to know it. Because that's how it's been so far. <laughs> I'm trying to think for this character. Um, I mean, obviously there's arcane things you can always recognize, but everybody has their sort of own way they write their spells. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> I got a spell book. It's all I've got, all I've wanted. The, the extra notes would actually be an under. An under common? Yes. Dang it. Okay, so I, I can't read it. Alright, is there anything else I find? So I got my two short swords. Now, I have currently a seven. I mean, it's just. I mean. I currently have five daggers and two short swords, so feel free to limit me here, but I'm just going to keep going with what saying. <laughs> well, I mean, it just gets to the point of weight eventually, but like. You're the DM, Chief. Just, just <laughs> tell me when. Yeah, like the trench coat. It's trying to actually like use more than one. It's always just yeah. like pull it out and throw it. That's all I need. You ever go to a shop? You have to just pull up on your jacket and go like which one you want. Well, yes, with the help of someone who knows under common, you guess you can figure out this puzzle. You can make us over some time. You could probably figure it out yourself because all spells are written somewhat the same. But understood. Understood. However, at the moment. Yeah, that is unreadable. <laughs> Guys, I found a spell book! <laughs> and for the seven, we'll say you find no, okay. one gold, seven silver, and ten copper. I will take it. Ten copper, seven silver, and one gold? Yes. I'm rich. Okay, I'm talking to well. I mean, I'm rich. Should we kill the lady? What, what, what she She's the. This lady. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was so quick. <laughs> <laughs> you just character kill him yeah. You just saw me and then I fell. It was just weird. Because <laughs> the minute 
it's hard, you know? Right. Hello, who are you? I'm going to plant my staff into the ground. Can we can just basically say we have yeah. a minotaur, a wizard with yep. too many daggers, and right. a fool. Don't you? I heard the ruckus and came to see what was happening, but I'm glad to see that hopefully the fool is in Right, this seems to be the tomb of a bad dude. I can't remember his name. Doors and that guy. Well done. <laughs> Doors and you win. <laughs> that guy. Now, this is probably his coffin. That's all I got. I have no idea where to go from here. So. Should we open it? I don't know if you see it. Okay, so all we know is that he's probably undying. So we probably shouldn't open it. But at the same time, we still we probably can open it. I mean, just think of all the things that we've done so far that have been so much fun. You know? Just by doing things dying. that we shouldn't have done. But we did not. And we had fun. You had fun. Of course. You're a Minotaur. Yes. You have more than what 13 HP. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can I say? I like spells. Maybe we shouldn't open this one. Just this one now. You're right. Kind of at the end of the line. Mm -hmm. But what, what are you doing here? I told you. I heard the ruckus in the other room. And we figured they'd come and check it out. You're like super far down here. I heard the rumors in the city that there was something happening in these caves. The Didn't other they were maze? <laughs> the other ones were. Maybe? Man, she's she navigating. Blocked off? Room. I don't know. <laughs> that's, They're that's blocked off. Impressive. She's just that good of a tracker. Well, what do you think? That's impressive. Do you think uh, we should open it? Considering we can't come to a compromise with us all of ourselves. Sounds like your wizard can't do much more as far as fighting, so. I'm doing great. I found a spell book. <laughs> Perhaps a long rest would make that spell book even Sweet. better. Yep. How about this? We stay down here with the sarcophagus and let it ruminate. If, uh, if anything kills us in our sleep, we'll know that the sarcophagus was trapped and then. At least we didn't bring back anything to the upper people back in the town. And while we do that, I'll just try and uncover the spell book. And uh, yeah, we'll just have a good time. Well, you can do that, but I'm not. I'm not so ready to just lay down before I die. I'm not saying we die. I'm saying we lay down and sleep and maybe die. It's the same thing. You can check on the room. I just want to know where we're going. I just want shoes. Okay. <laughs> you can't take the shoes off. <laughs> she fell out of her laces so well, dude. Like, you just you shrug, you're struggling. You get you have to, you have to pull them off. You're straight to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's shoeless? It's like the gutter has for one. I have to make it bad somehow. It's right. Thirteen. Okay, you are able to take your shoes off. I have to take her shoes off. Yeah, big birthday. They like, what, what race is she? Uh, you pull the hood off and take a look. Appear to be half elvish. Half elvish. Okay, they're pretty half elvish shoes. Yes. So humanoid. She's human. Yeah, she's half elvish. I'll take the shoes. Right. You have a pair of shoes. Can I do an investigation for my body? Sure. I'm so excited. What do you have to manage? Come on. Oh, is that your blood hunter thing to search for your favorite? Okay, this is amazing. I got a fourteen. Yeah. First one? No, I second. I'd like to um, summon a magnifying glass. Well, so you find the rest of her money: five gold, two silver, and twelve pounds. Okay. She, didn't, she did not need. But he got glass. most of what she had. You want a short it story? Seem to be trying to hide anything. I want a short sword. I have, I have a tagger. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you're in my cook. All right. Ask what's the plan? Looking around the room, is there anything you like the same room as before, or is it different? Can you just describe the room to us just a little bit? It's just completely flat, no detailed stone. It's just a perfectly square, 30 by 30 foot room. Is there a can I investigate the sarcophagus to see if there's any sort of like keyhole? If you get too close, they might go up in the sky again. I'll be fine. I'll find well, you got, got, got next to it. Right? Oh, you got next yeah. to it? In the combat, you got next to it. Yeah, we, we definitely were fighting all the way around this thing. Feels so I want to take a look at it, um, see, what's, see what's up. Go for it. Nat 20. Wow. <laughs> uh oh. It appears to be some kind of magical seal that this person is trying to break. As in, like, a, I touch it and it breaks, or as in a, like... That speech they were saying, it's like, okay. I break it. Yeah. Right. Or it could likely be a spell or something like that, if you could guess. Mm -hmm. Alright. A coffin is sealed with magic? Probably not trapped. I feel like if it were trapped, you'd have already set it up. Yeah, well, yeah, and that's what I have to see. Ha! No traps. Intuition. Ha! I'm not good at investigating. I'm gonna run up to you, shouldn't touch you, and just give you advantage on the next mission. Get comfortable. How many times are you gonna do it? I'm just gonna just do it. <laughs> you only be on one person, huh? Oh, oh, it's your blessing? Yes. Okay. My visual and blessing. So, yes. So do we stay here? Do we open the sarcophagus? Or do we go up and tell the town person, people, hey? I don't know if, because a lot of them just don't want to tell them. You actually came from a different system. I seem to cave into this one. Yeah. But... Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Okay. I didn't know if you didn't remember or you just no, no. noticed. Or what? My axe. Notice what? The, uh, this different this stars. is what you're actually pointing to, this sarcophagus. No, I'm... Never mind. I was talking about the fact that it can detect like the planet Earth. Is that what you're referring to? Oh, stars the, the, thing that you were, the thing that you were detecting yeah. further up was this, the sarcophagus. Okay. And we... Yes. Yes. yes, whatever is inside this is from a different planet. Okay, that's more or less what I'm asking. I say we let it die. I think so. I think, I think we went far enough. Plus, we have 69 gold waiting for us, so. <laughs> I have that written down. You're right. <laughs> you have 69 gold, and I have a spell book. I say we go back to town, get some sleep, and report this to the local authorities. Do we have a way to collapse this or anything like that? Do you have anything that can do that? Yes. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay. Perhaps you like to take a short rest first. No, it's fine. Long rest? Any of the rests? You got, you want to take a rest? Are you tired? You're looking a little rough. Are, are you tired? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, 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 I won't go. I'm only 65,000, years old. That's fine. <laughs> You're as young. I offer. I'm young. 6,500 years young. Fine. Are you hurt at all? Are you fine? I'm good. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, trying to puff up his no, chest. I'm good. Is he putting hurt? Bye, guy. You said you taken a fairly decent wound. Too much pride. I'm fine. I don't remember what it was. So he has like a gash right here. He's yeah. just bleeding this whole time. I'm fine. I'm good. I can walk it off. I'm I walk up to him and be like, yeah, sure, buddy, sure. I'll cast cure wounds on you. Oh, there's some sympathy points. D8 plus your wisdom. Now you can eat. A full health, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good. Yeah. I'm a little, yeah. I'm a little tapped. The thing is, we can make it back. You know? All right. I mean, I can try and collapse it. It might. I don't know how this seal interacts with magic. It seemed to be a ritual spell that this person was casting, but I don't know if my my magic would interact with the seal. Well, I will say you didn't notice from the last time 
Yeah, because we had to check that. Because um, it was it was just words spoken to open the. Okay. So if I cast a spell around here, that won't activate. If you don't think so, because all she all the person was trying to do to activate it was speak words. Right. Because she was already concentrating on another spell. Right. Yeah. Right. I was thinking maybe the tunnel, not the sarcophagus. Ah, that oh, might, that shit. Might, yeah. That All right. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, there could be a problem. We'd be in the tunnel while this would be happening, so I don't know if that's perhaps the best idea. We can't leave. We can't do it after that. Well, let me check my spell book. What's the spell you're talking about? No, my, my actual spell book. So in this case, is Mop Funnel. While I check out Thunder Wave. I'm just thinking we probably don't want more people coming down here. Well, a wave of thunderous force. Yeah, we'll see. You figure likely for 48 thunder damage. Likely would not be strong enough to bring down a cave. <laughs> or to collapse a cave. Not even my, my heirloom item? Third level through the trap. <laughs> I can certainly try. <laughs> you should just go back to town. Just now I kind of want to try it. <laughs> you just going to walk away. You're going to start going back. You're just going to start walking back. Yeah. yeah. Back up a little bit. All right. Let's, let's walk. Is yeah, she coming? If the old wizard wants to kill I'm himself, I'm trying to see you now. Your elemental strength is unique. Can I perhaps oh, conjure as a cherry bomb? <laughs> <laughs> well, can't because it is the ability. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go out on a limb well, and, and say it probably doesn't mention cherry bombs in the player's hand. Okay, but like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 you can get a stick and dynamite. I think yeah, that's 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 that. You said three foot by three foot and less than ten pounds? That would probably work. Okay, it is a non-magical object that I have seen. It can be no long, no larger than three feet on a side and weigh no more than ten pounds. Okay. So has I don't, my character I, seen? I know the pattern. I'm sure you have heard of, but I do not imagine you have seen any of these things considering your background and such. But um, make an intelligence check as you are attempting to conjure this. All right, I'm going to attempt to conjure. <laughs> Some awesomeness. Yeah, let me just draw my roll in the ground roll doesn't count. Shoot. Eight. Well, you conjure a red stick of some sort. Let's light it on fire. Alright. I'm gonna do I even have like a fire spell of any kind? I don't think they do. We can throw a torch out. What else do we have? Uh, I mean, probably have torches. I think I lost my torch. No, I have no more chance. Alright, we're good. We'll use a torch to light it and run. I'm already done. I've already done. <laughs> <I'm laughs> gotcha. I already exited. That's all I heard. torch. Yeah. Are you going torch. back the way you came from? Or I reach out my torch to the. To the All right. I don't know anything about the kids that they were <laughs> I'm just going to. I'm just gonna okay, set the okay, stick okay. down. Okay. Safe distance. Okay. Off. All right. I'm just I'm just set the stick down. Set the torch next to it to where it'll light the like fuse. Right in the door of the right right, right, right in the door. door. My movement speed is thirty. All right. Hop on my back. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Uh, one sixty, <laughs> which is just a completely yeah, arbitrary number. Seven pounds. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's something right. you can probably do that. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna set the torch next to it. Now let's just book it. Oh, yeah. get on your back. Let's, let's just go. Is that right? Yeah. And then how are you lighting it? With a torch. torch. Yeah. Torch. Just leaving okay. my torch behind, I guess. Right. So now I do lose my torch. Why yeah. right. are you in your way? Throw your torch back and you run off. Okay. okay that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> an extremely small explosion. 
could have been worse. <laughs> could have, but that was incredibly underwhelming. I mean, it's my middle name. My middle name was Vaughn or something. My name is Vandal the Rain. Fair enough. Yeah. My middle name is that. I stand for it. You're welcome. Do we remember the way back? We kind of went through a lot of tunnels. Well. Uh, so it was like seven laps and a couple rights. <laughs> well, you, you remember the tunnels you went through, yes. Like, you, could, you, don't, you don't know any of the other tunnels, but you can go exactly the same way you would. Well, actually, make us a ride with Tim. So, Chase, wait a second. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I think I have the seven. Well, 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 you have no idea which way they went. They you might know the way that you came from. Is that for seven? Is that for If I had never seen this area before, I do have the system exploration. Too bad you've seen this place before. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> Even if it was at a glimpse. <laughs> really? Oof. Uh, what were those final checks, sir? Uh, seven. Probably, yeah, seven. Yeah, sixteen. Okay. <laughs> you were able to find the way back. So you guys came through, and you entered into the a sort of center circular room where the large chasm is, and the and it's above us, right? Like yeah, no it's about like thirty feet up, and then you can begin climbing. <laughs> is my rope still there? Yeah, we left, 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 left the rope. My rope. I yeah. left the rope. The rope is still there. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up the wall casually. Walk up like around the wall, yeah. up the. Okay. Come on, guys. Alright, Rob is. You have spider still on my back. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna Yo, start do you want a Princess Bride this? You've seen Princess Bride, right? Yeah, it's been like a couple years. Alright, Michael, we'll have a date night and I'll very watch sticky. Princess Bride. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay on the wall. <laughs> Sorry, the rolling. Like Alright, so, like so he's gonna climb up and I'm just gonna stay on his back. I uh, like physic. Make a strength check. Yeah. And I'm going to roll to see if the rope falls. That's like it gets probably with all the stuff you guys have, it's like five, six hundred pounds. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Strength is not on this page. What's a, what's a time of match? Oh, you uh, if you want to look that up, it's in Xanthar's Guide to Everything. It has a whole section. I would imagine this dexterity. Seventeen. Wait, you said strength or dexterity? Well, okay, so yeah, strength check, yeah, for this one. 17. And then make a dexterity check to see how well you tie the knot through this. Well, it's very handy, so I can't hit. So he's 18. Okay. Yeah. So, unless this is a one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a three. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 The, rope, the rope begins to tear a little bit, but you're okay. Thank you. Of course. You make it a close. That was my master plan. You carry me everywhere. Get off me. <laughs> All right, magic. Okay. You run out with your axe, and I have my staff. We be like, I don't know, a turret, a mobile turret. Perhaps I got it. I'll call us a tank. Are you trying to say you're jousting? You can joust, but with spells. <laughs> Though I like this idea, don't let it be a common. Yeah. We'll have to try it sometime. We'll have to try it sometime. But, uh, for now, <laughs> you know, respectable. Alright, I'll get off. Is the rope still salvageable? Huh? Is the rope still salvageable? Can we take the rope? Yeah. I'm gonna take, keep the rope. Is yeah. your rope? It was my rope. Take the rope. I think I don't need that, so. I'll have to re add that. That's okay, Craig. Uh, and then, yeah, you guys climb up and do. For you two, I guess. But <laughs> we made it. it. We threw it to uh, just to hug the wall over back to the doorway, into the hallway, back into the staircase. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you say it's been about an hour or less? Since, since I cast the scene visibility, since we were initially in this room. Oh. Well, I mean, one roll. that all happened really fast. Like, you guys hopped down, chased her. It's probably been only like. 
15 minutes. <laughs> Probably still like 45 left. Okay. I'd like to keep my IP. Just going for Thank you for seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 30, 20. 30, 20. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. Do you continue through the hallway back to the staircase? Yes. Okay. Wasn't there a I'm not going to go first. Huh? Wasn't there a bunch of extra doors? I'm just curious. It was one secret door. Yeah. Oh, yeah, back down under the castle. Yeah, there was, it was, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. essentially yeah. a maze. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good. You can also just go get our six and nine dollars. Also, the amount of gold. It's the perfect amount of gold. Perfect amount of gold. I welcome. I got it to visible by three. Four. Uh, How many of us there were? As you are um, walking through that longer hallway from the secret doorway, um, you see sort of apparate on the right side this wooden door with a gold trim. Um, and you begin to hear a strange music. You're don't usually hear. We've never really heard before, but it's on the other side. We hear jazz. <laughs> yeah. I mean, none of you know it. None of you hear it yourself, jazz. Yes, you hear jazz. Why does it seem like my character could it? possibly know what jazz is? Yeah, many characters. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Do I kind of roll to see if I know jazz? Actually, I want to see if you recognize the whole situation. I know Michael does, but not Lynch does it. <laughs> I roll in that one, so. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> she was never quite the same afterwards. You sound like a stupid boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Really, 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 Got this far doing some stuff. It was not there when you came down. That it wasn't here when we came down. That seems like a bad idea. It's probably an angry god on the other side. That's all I'm saying. Though it's kind of lively. <laughs> I know. I have music. Music. It's pretty neat. It's fine. Well, what if it's angry music? I saw an angry at you. Apparently, I've never heard this type of music before, so I don't know. How would I know? Does he even know what music is? Yeah, yeah I know. I listen to harps and things. I know harps and trumpets and, you know, angelic stuff. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to try something from the north. Well, you make the I'm already my sword. I'm already a short sword. And are you going to try to resist her in opening? Yeah. Okay, yeah, both of you make the Yes. Whoever's faster. Did you guys get it? <laughs> yeah, 19. 14. Okay, so you grabbed your arm right before you grabbed the handle. This nice, ornate, golden handle. Is it a gory Martian in the door? I I'm like throwing it back. Open, open the door, <laughs> stop, and then you just. Blow. How hard are you hit for him? How do you stop the brain from coming? Yeah, no, I don't think you can stop it. You can jump in front of me, what? You, you um, probably not feel good. Though. Roll an attack against the door. <laughs> what are my horns? I forget. I have. All right, so all this is going on. I'm just gonna. Staff, short sword. Yeah. So let's, let's go. go. I'm gonna. Yeah. Five plus one is six. I mean, it's a door. Like, it doesn't have. Yeah. It's a door. Yeah. You hit the door. Of course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was maybe that one. You hit the door. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the door is going rush. Like, 
Oh, okay, that was Roll damage. <laughs> he did, he did. That was a six. That was damage. What damage do you need? Oh, oh, I thought, what was your roll to hit though? I don't know, we didn't do that. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, unless you get a one. Let's just restart the whole thing. Ten unless you get a one, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you dealt six damage to the door? Yeah, well. You ran the door. Six damage to the It cracks, you pull out, and it immediately fixes itself. Um, but the door, and the door opens, and, um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the door opens and you see this um, uh, golden dragonborn figure uh, oh, yeah. and a, <laughs> make another history check. Okay, um, he's in a brown suit with golden embroidery and a golden tie. Is it another one? No. Okay, two. <laughs> one, two. Eventually you'll get it somewhere if you just keep this pattern going. No, you do not really <laughs> That's quite the way to knock. It's the only way to knock. Come on in. I, uh, I like Thank to you. do a mind check. I like to do an inside check. Inside check the guy? That's why it's like not a situation. It's true mind check. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, my name's uh, Urfus. I'm a sort of a dealer for adventurers yes, like yourselves. Yes, I remember. Oh boy. I, I, I buy and sell all sorts of magical items. Just come on in. Thank you, Arbus. Uh, my name is Hemsh. He steps back into the room, ready to fall. <laughs> I'm going to sheathe my sword into my cloak, apparently. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go in. Go in with it? Yeah. Can I roll to see if... Because I know who Urfus is. Do you remember now? I, oh, I totally remember now. But can I roll to see if... Uh, it's not. I would say so. You want me to make a history check? Well, sure. Go for it. Okay. And you're going to pass 20. Because I got two. 19? Yeah, my point. Plus, I don't even know. Now that you've heard of it, heard him describe himself, um, what did he say? Somebody, somebody you knew in the military had run into him once. Okay. You're aware that he shows up in dungeons, tombs, crypts, all those sorts of things, and yeah, he gives items to people who venture in those types of places. You're not sure of his capabilities or what he sells or anything like that. Or at least no object. Uh, all right. Maybe when he introduced himself, do I remember anything? Sure, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a three, I'm gonna laugh so hard. It's gonna be a three. I mean, I love you. Come on, three! Wait, I said the first, man. One, two, three. You're going in dice, Jill. Yeah, that's a that sucker. <laughs> you walk in. Would you like one of my D20s? I'm gonna try it. I have other dice, it just. There's no way for that die. Until it betrayed me. You walk in. So, anyway, I sent that. He's sort of gathered in the back of the room, and he walks in front of you, and he waves his hand. And this semicircular table appears from left to right, and as it's appearing, the items also just appear onto it. He has a row of 12 items. And um, I will describe each of them for you. There are two uh, glass vials um, on the left side that appear to have some sort of red liquid in them, um, which is obviously a potion of healing. But <laughs> there are two potions of healing. Uh, there appear to be a set of goggles, um, a backpack, a ring, the hilt of a sword. Um, it's sort of this, yes. sort of this gold, this golden hilt of a sword with two um, uh, an image of images of the sun at the edge of each side. There is a like this blue tinted shield, a set of a chain shirt, um, a massive axe, um, another ring, a necklace, and then a set of slippers. If you'd like to inquire in any of them, we'll let you know. Alright, cool. Alright, I don't, I don't need your magic on it. good. <laughs> <laughs> any, of the, <laughs> any of the rest of you interested? 
what who wants to be on here? I offer you items and pay me gold, just like any other shop. We could possibly make a trade for another magical item. Alright, alright. Now I've dealt with extra planar beings before. And apparently I've never heard of this one before. Get nothing extra planar from this guy. That doesn't <laughs> matter. I say that. I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, I can say what I'm gonna tell. I'm just, I'm I just, I'm just, I'm just, you reminded me, so I just wanted to tell him. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. I've dealt with these types of beings before, although not this one specifically, apparently. I can't be trusted. Oh. That's all I'm saying. He might be, but I'm just, I just, I wouldn't do it. See, Melodonis, like, Melody's in the doorway. She hasn't come inside. Oh, you know. No. I'm, I'm standing in there. I'm uh, all of you to sit for this man. I've never met him before, but I know of him. He's a very famous trader. He travels all across the continent, I guess. No, I'm good. Yeah. I don't like rings. Rings and I have a checkered uh, past. I'm good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How much for the backpack? Well, for this nice uh, bag of holding, it would be only 400 gold. Pretty sweet deal. I can carry a lot of baggers. <laughs> And I can also hold any of these items if you like them for the next time I see you. Well, I'm curious about the rings. We don't, we don't know when that is. You're curious about the rings? I am curious. I shouldn't say. Well, <laughs> this ring right here. Um, it's a ring and it sort of has a feather across the band. Um, it's the ring that will stop your falls for you. It makes it less. And this other one. Uh, well, it's a, it's a bit pricey, but uh, you can, uh, a wizard like yourself can put their spells into it to cast them later. <laughs> so good. Oh, I know exactly what it is. Yeah. I know exactly what it is. It's the ring of spell storm? Yeah. No, really, you can store your spells in it. It's the ring of spell storm. That's, that's 4,500. <laughs> You speak undercommon? <laughs> I could if I would like to. Well, now that's not a cryptic answer. <laughs> speak it or not, I have a spell book. Oh, I, I can help you figure that out if you'd like. Yeah. I don't know. I just, can I roll insight? Sure. You're a four. I'm throwing you away. It was a five. Oh, um, seems on the level. Seems just sad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like I said, would you like to try yeah, one one to try? Yeah, this one goes in the dice jail too. I have many there. Oh, this shit. one, it's kind of cool looking with blues and purples. Try that one. That was a nine. Okay. How about a uh, maybe? Uh, <laughs> I just rolled a six with it. Let's try this one. That was good. All right. It was a seven. Dude, you're not having a day. I don't know. Like, just, just I'm just, just sequentially day. going on. <laughs> I feel like you're all Amanda right now. Just saying you want to do something works. All right. I found a die that I'm okay with using now. <laughs> okay. Uh, the rest of them have betrayed me. What, what, what did the, the slippers do? Uh, they are pretty useless to you with their slippers and spider climbing. Oh! <laughs> you need slippers for that? <laughs> Lame. <laughs> how, much will it, how much will it cost to translate this spell book? If you need to give you the ability to, to read it for an hour, or else we'll say about 15 gold. You can see your bolts, I know I'm your Oh, what? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> never mind. That's just so real. Yeah, no. You should have left with that. When I said that I, I had an undercommon spell book. Alright, I'm good. I'm gonna walk out of the room. I don't wanna. <laughs> uh, 
No, that was it. I don't trust beings that, like, beings that like people. Yeah. Yeah, he's a bad. All right. All right, so it's with the uh, uh, goggles you have there. Uh, there are goggles of night. They'll give you dark vision. Man, imagine. Dark vision. Imagine not having dark vision. Oh, I give you dark vision for now. Yeah, I'm like, I'm definitely <laughs> dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how much would that run me for those guys? Uh, 100 gold. What about those slippers? Or shoes or whatever they are. I can save any of these for you as well. Now the slippers would be 300. Why are you at it? What about the shield? <laughs> what about the sword? This the shield is quite rare. Nah, the sword is just... Stone's gonna be so sick. You, you give the shield a word that you say to it, um, and it floats up into the air and protects you for you, keeping your hand free. So, a, sh a shield that you don't actually have to hold. It's an animated shield that just dances around for you and yeah, gives you the armor class. Wait, how much you got? 20,000. 20,000? Or you could do two <laughs> For the low, low and price, 20,000. For 20,000 gold, yeah. how much is that sun price? I've got five gold. Or is it gold? Yeah. Because I know it. I could probably lower the price on them a bit of it. If you'd like me to say it, let me know. Um, yeah, the sun blade, um, it, so it's a long sword, but it's basically like a lightsaber. Oh, yeah. A beam of radiant, okay, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. radiant energy. I've used it in every campaign. It does radiant had. damage instead. It's 2,500. Now we're at the new guy. Well, new guy. <laughs> he might be dead now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this might have been taken off his corpse. I don't know. <laughs> Start expecting it to see. Hey, does it, is have, no a, uh, does it have a blood stain on it? He lets you inspect your phone instead. So. <laughs> Hmm. When you take this from the goggles there, uh, make a I'll give you one gold. <laughs> <laughs> the persuasion. potions of healing are also 50, if that's what you got. You said persuasion? Yes. One, two. Sure, why not? Like a nice fellow. How much does that ring your spells cost? You want the goggles? Yes, please. Thank you. I've got this super magical thing. I'm gonna hold up a perfectly normal thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I have this, <laughs> man, I have this very words. obviously magical dagger. <laughs> you can you can give her a dagger. Give you a strange look. I wonder if it's ability. <laughs> Come <Can> here. <laughs> 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 I don't have to do that to anybody. Really? Of course. No. It, was, it was a surprise the first time I used it. <laughs> Never mind, it's not magical. I have a magical dagger, and I'm going to conjure a dagger surreptitiously. <laughs> it glows. It's worth tricking it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I'll trade it to you for the Radiant Spell Story. <laughs> he conjures another Radiant Spell Story and you're also glowing. <laughs> <laughs> well, an hour. I'll trade for an hour, right? Yeah, works for me. <laughs> he it over to you. Heck yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. So I have a Radiant Spell Story for the next hour. So whatever we do in that hour. Damn it, it's just a ring it's that looks ring. like the ring that's all the You should have told them that. You should have waited for a combat or something. <laughs> I feel like I would have known pretty quick. Yeah. 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 Dreams. Yeah. Yeah. If he holds the shield for me, will that take up our space for other items? Yeah. 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 Yes, hold me. if I hold two items, I'll give you ten new ones next time. Just hold the bag for me. Hold the ring. No spell scoring, not the other one. I don't like other ones. I don't like most rings. Okay. How much was the spell scoring? Ring spell scoring is 4500 Yeah, no mind. I have. You sure you don't want me to hold the shield? When you take 100 gold for it. Price will be lower next time, I promise. 
I have a hundred. Ten thousand gold. <laughs> I have a hundred gold. Is the shield as big as me? Uh, three feet tall. It's a tower <laughs> shield. <laughs> it's pretty close. Pretty <laughs> close. That's like a kite shield. Like a snow globe on it. No, no shield. No shield for me. I mean, it doesn't matter how heavy it is, it floats. It no, but I, I want it to be as big as me and snow more. Right? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be having that many fun. There's just not 72. Yeah, no, I'm like 45. I can hold this for as many visits as you'd like. Okay, hold the shield. I'm going to run out. All right, I'm still outside this entire time. I'm just going to be like, hold the ring, spell storing. Yeah. yeah I, got, I got that. Now, half elf chick. Help me out with the spell, but poor flavor. You're just an owl. <laughs> oh, I just assumed she was an owl. What? Her, her, her thing was. Her shoes were. No, that was the person who killed. No, that was what? the person who killed. The person who killed, I stole her shoes. Alright, I'm just gonna go with it anyway. It makes sense that I wouldn't know. But yeah, that's true. <laughs> There's so many things you guys didn't ask about. What other things are there? Because I think I blacked out. Well, I guess we'll have to uh, well, I got the slippers, the sun blade. Uh, there's a periapt of wound closure. Auto stabilizes you when you go down uh, for 250 gold. Uh, already got the ring of feather calling. The axe is a giant slayer. It's a plus one axe, and it does more damage to giants. Uh, and then there is Elven Chain. It's a plus one chain shirt um, that you can wear even if you're not proficient. Um, Ooh, that's really good for you. But, you but he has a, the chain shirt is an elven chain. It's a plus one chain shirt that you can wear if you're not proficient. How much is it? Fifteen hundred. Yeah, no. But he can say that you like. No. Okay, I have mage armor, which is bad. This is actually one point better than mage armor. If you, but I mean, I don't know how much one point is worth, but yeah. By the way, so Flandolf, uh is kind of new to like everything, so he has no clue what half elves look like. Okay. So I'm just wrong with it. Yeah, so he definitely thinks you're half trying to guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's just, I'm just gonna roll with it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, here we go. Before you go, Urfus, uh, could you save those slippers for next time? Cool. So just to be sure, I've got the bag of holding, the ring of spell storing, the animated shield, and the slippers, the spider climb. Alright, that's correct. Well, I will Imagine see. not just being able to teleport. I will see you all next time. Well, I can, but it's more fun. <laughs> it's a humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> Our humble brag. Yeah. Shuts the door, leaving you in the hallway, and the door. We could have died, but we did. We're back. I've only been alive for like three weeks. Maybe I could die. Don't worry about it. I mean, the more you know, but what? Just gonna keep walking. You can make an insight check on that if you want. I'm gonna make an insight check. I'm just gonna make an I'd like to. Okay, go for it. I'm just smart. And then you can roll persuasion and deception, whichever it is. Sixteen. Or you can just tell them the like that's true. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sure, anybody. Fair enough. Some truthful telling you to be three weeks old. Now, so how about <laughs> three? Can you help me with the spell book since apparently you speak under common? She just like looks around and is like, who the fuck is this guy talking to, first of all? And then like realizes that you're talking to her. Mm -hmm. It's like, I need to the top of it. Give me the book. Eh, right, full of. Here we go. <laughs> like, murmur, like murmur something as I go. Well, cool. So she able you to... open it and you have no clue what spells are, so you're able to figure out the undercommon. Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> you're all able I got. to figure out the person's like side notes and things like that. Like, I'll read that. So together, over like a longer amount of time, you can probably figure it out. But she can't just like read it out. Dang it! 
and then it's fine. Uh, you get experience at a certain point, and then you're like, oh, this room somehow, is this. Yeah, I got yeah, yeah. I have an advantage in our, in our fun. I think, I think a lot I think of those advantages just, are if you are yeah, seeking your uh, blood that you're going to Well, what would you like to do? Yeah. Climb stairs? Yeah. Okay, you climb stairs, stairs back into up. the room. Is there anyone in um, You are not seeing anything in the room. You did not see anything invisible in Griffith's posture. A bow would come up. Um, uh, you continue into the room, and this is exactly how you left it. Uh, you begin going up the stairs. Yes. Once everyone's out, I want to try and get the, the light. To so close it again? Close it again. Uh, all right. Easy enough. You put the lever back, and it closes it again. Yeah. Comes back yeah, up yeah. out of the floor. Locks into place. Can I try to break the lever? Mm. Snap it over. Breaking the lever, keeping it open, or breaking the lever, keeping it closed? Close. Okay. Yeah. Aren't they the same lever? Well, well yes. One direction is open. Yeah, which direction, direction do you want to break? I'm the assuming that's not the lever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, so uh, you want to break the lever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there is, I will say there is the risk of permanently opening it. If you, yeah, if you don't roll very well. But. Well. Go for it. I'll help. Worth a shot. <laughs> I'll, I'll help. It helps, but I'll does that mean I get like advantage or something? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a Mac and it's strength. Yeah. <laughs> hey, with my plus one it's strength, okay. Eight and plus one, I think, on my strength. So that's uh, nine. you're not able to break it. Okay. No, no, it was with advantage. Oh, with advantage. Yeah. No brains there. Nine. So ten. <laughs> you're not able to break it. That's a good I tried. I tried. Yeah. Three. Maybe no, I'll find it. I mean, that's all I'm saying. I'm pretty short, so I, it's easy for me to sit down. Okay. Is it like on the ground, right? Perhaps we can uh, try with the buttons upstairs, and we can try to jimmy those to prevent from happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you begin walking upstairs then? Yeah. Okay, as soon as you cross past that uh, skull I spoke about in the recap that was shooting the left white lightning, uh, you take four points of lightning damage as one of the arcs hits you. No, they didn't do damage the first time. They're doing damage yeah. specifically to just her. Oh, mm, so it's an elf specific. <laughs> <laughs> Death ray. <laughs> Make it up. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. Would I know what that is? Uh, well, no, I was going to say, do you keep going up or do you begin to go down? Stop. And then go back to yeah. under it? Okay. Um, you can see. Not damaging them, but only damaging you. You can make an intelligence check. I'm going to try to. a lightning rod. That's. Okay, well, I mean, I'll still let you try to figure it out in your head to see what's different about you. Is... Before he does that, can you it's just. Help. Describe the skull. Help specific lightning ray in detail. Like what the skull is. Like, this is so good. Yeah, yeah somehow. Like it, it's a lot of lightning. And it's not actually lightning. It's magic lightning. Is it seven? Seven? Uh, you're not quite sure. Yeah. What, it's why it's targeting specifically you. I conjure a three foot long metal stick. Does not seem to have effects. Because it doesn't seem to summon the lightning at all. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the skull? It seems to be an L specific death ray, like what um, it looks like. <laughs> it seems to be partially translucent, but it's like this white ivory color. Is it just, like, just sitting on top of some pedestal? Mm -hmm. On top of that coil like thing. Okay, I would walk over and. It's pretty high up there. Grab. You would likely have to climb this device. Uh, climb to... up the device and grab. Uh, okay, make an athletics check. Not twenty. 
Yeah, you climb <laughs> all the way up there and you <laughs> you stand on the top the top circle, like the protruding out of it. Um, and you you are there at the skull. Can I separate the skull from the pedestal? It does appear to be attached. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I can separate it though, right? You can try, make sure it's okay. Try to pull it up. 19 plus 1 is 20. 320. <laughs> you pull it, you begin pulling, like it maybe makes a small cracking sound, but you're not even going to be loud. I have a small one. Yeah. Small person. Yeah. Small idea is not small people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we can run really fast. <laughs> I wish Angie was here. <laughs> If we can run really fast, I can, I can keep you more alive as we run up the stairs. How much distance is it from where I am to you? Can't, you can't see the top. Well, we can run straight from the wall. That's, well, I mean, the staircase is on the wall, so you'd have to like leap over the stairs. Well, well, you guys they're, they're pretty thin stairs, though. <laughs> you would have to leap. She could just step over them. My movement speed's 40. Someone off. I mean, if it's just her, it's the three guys. The issue is, yeah. I'm gonna make everything really dark. Well, you have to draw from there, right? Yes, I do. Okay. I can help my back. Well, what is it magical darkness? Or? Yeah. Oh, well, like dark person doesn't mm help. -hmm. Magical darkness. Okay, hang on. Here we go. I'm not following what he's trying to do. Yeah. Twilight. Let me explain it. It's still a dim light. Okay, so it's not actually like the darkness, but no, 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 it's not pitch black. Okay. Yes. So if the goggle works, I'm not yes, dark vision would help you there. Okay, maybe if you pick me up, she would be getting a little stronger while she's in my ball of darkness. <laughs> what does it do? It gains one d6 plus three temporary hit points every round they end in the sphere. Oh, I mean, that's every seven seconds. Six, every six, 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 six. Yeah. So, if I could just sprint up the stairs, you have temporary hit points every time a light is true. How long like, does that last? A minute. <laughs> it will help for quite a bit of 10 rounds, yeah. Well, how many times can you do that? Just once. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can only do my channel giving you once a minute. Yeah. yeah. I think so. How long would you say it would take us to run up the stairs? Um, if you're making acrobatics checks, well, you guys stick to the wall, though. Yeah. yeah. If you two ran up together, stick to straight up the wall, and you can full yeah. run, you're 35. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're, yeah, that's yeah. the yeah. tough yeah. part. You're going his speed yeah. if you're sticking with it. Well, if we're going 50 feet nine, every oh, six seconds, it's fine. Nine, <laughs> nine, go nine, 500 nine. feet. It's so fine in yeah. a minute. No I would say probably like three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Three minutes. This is a really long time. <laughs> Two to three minutes, yes. Do you have any other ideas? Anyone have spared the dying? I do. But I will say that would completely ne negate the damage from it. Because the damage is lower than that. So Idea. I will just say that it negates it. Alright. So the elf lady gets on Imsh's back. Okay. So she'll continue to take damage. Okay, I still have no clue what your race is, so I'm just rolling with it. Okay, so she will continue to take damage, unless we negate it using what's the space's divine thingamabob. So, we do both of those things, and we just sprint. Then, if, if she fades, he casts Spare the Dying, he keeps keeping her alive while Imps just fucking eats it. Just heckin' eats question. it. What does deflect missiles do? Would that work for this? Deflect missiles. Uh, yeah, play, you have have play the system. Um, that's to catch a projectile, and then if you completely negate the damage, you can throw it back. No. No. Sorry, you can't catch bolts of lightning. <coughs> well, you can. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> You're just I, like, my I knew a guy. Into the room. I knew a guy. Small. Well, well it's, it's like you start walking up the stairs, and once you're mm -hmm. past the skull, it's firing upward. So he could catch lightning. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like a cylinder. Yeah. So it's from the like a cylinder. Yeah, uh, sort of. Yeah. yeah. With a skull on the top. Skull. Yeah, and the, well, and then a cylinder above that skull going up into the room. Is okay. Just yeah. Got a bad idea. Let's stop. Step in the hallway. 
And I'll cast Dark Fire and Scorch. Okay. And I can cast Thunder Wave. Sure. We'll try and, and like boom it. I can also do Step of the Wind and like zoom up the stairs. That's true. With her on your back? Uh, yeah. 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 I spend one of the key for radiant for to take the disengage or damage. Can you roll the hit or just for damage? Uh, I mean, unless you got a. Well, it's yeah, pretty nine. small. It works. Nine's of those. Like okay. My 40 movement speed plus jumping it's being it's doubled. Didn't I make it like 500 feet in the room that one last session? 50. I made 50. 500. Well, then I could just do that with one four. Everything else two fails. Two okay. okay, so the plan no is. Things. No The plan is. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can also just cast Thunder Wave. Well, I don't think that might like knock it over or something. Yeah. Because what's the radius of Thunder Wave? Uh, I believe. It's a cube, it's, right? It's from, it originates from you. Yeah, let me check. Thunder Wave, 15 foot cube. Yes, you would have to be standing at least halfway up the, the, the structure to hit the spot. I can climb. He can climb. I can get back. Well, I'm just, I'm just letting you know that, yeah, to be able to do that. What if we just ran forward? That's what I suggested okay. first. Let's oh. just run forward. Yeah, but she, the elf lady, them. gets on the Minotaur's back, right, and he runs as fast as he can because he has the fastest movement speed. While you cast the what's you call it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the slowest though. This, but you yeah. also get on the back. Yeah. She's an elf; she I'm can't wait that way. Like then, then he, then he's running pretty slow. So. Yeah, I feel like but it your your first so fastest bad. option yeah. is both of you running at your speed, yeah, the, the straight up because. When, the staircase is like this, and you're just going like that. Okay. Yeah. Let's just do it. All right, then I'll walk. Is and then it? What's my darkness? Well, she gets low. It doesn't affect us. That's what I say. It doesn't affect y'all. It literally doesn't affect you. Yeah. From what I, I know. Yeah. And then are you going to do your temporary hit point thing? Yeah. Which would negate it for half of it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to walk up the stairs. Yeah. I think we're going to take a short rest. <laughs> I'm old, you see. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> yeah, so you guys begin walking up the stairs, and you guys begin running up the side. Yeah, I'm gonna take out yeah. my tattoos are gonna glow, and it's just bye. Oh, over dim. Yeah. We're just gonna start sprinting. So I'll sprint it. It's great. Keep trying to cast thunder wave, and no one keeps letting me cast thunder wave. Okay. Just try this. So no damage for the first minute, and then over the second minute, it's you first damage. Why did you begin Why taking up the stairs? Uh, one, three. I'm just gonna you know. And then we just do it. And we just do it and just see what happens. We could kill them. Uh, seven. No. We nine, might want to. Nine. Eleven. Lightning, lightning damage. Try. Hold on. Did that happen many? I mean, if she just falls straight off the ground, at least we'll be down there to catch her. Oh. You're taking eleven total. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then there's that. Uh, uh, well, I can make three. three including this. Seven. 11, 12. Yeah, I feel like I can do something else. And, no, you, right. and you make it to the top and go past the fountain mm -hmm. and up into the next room. Okay. Okay, so while this is happening, we're going to climb up. It's getting shot repeatedly. We're going to climb up the, <laughs> the pedestal. We're going to climb up the pedestal. We wanted to try something. Okay. <laughs> He's going to do his thing and I'm going to Yeah, okay, so, so you'll climb up so I gotta and I'll be on your back. Okay. And I'm, I'm helping. What do you want me to roll for to climb up the thing? With him on your back, athletics again. Okay. DC's higher this time. Oh, shoot. Athletics, you said? Eight? Uh, you make it, like, about 20 feet from the skull and you fall down. Like, how far are we falling? Well, you climb 10, 10 feet, feet up of it and then you lose your grip and fall down. Each of you take two bludgeoning damage from the fall. So let's keep going. Let's try it again. If you're good with that, I'll I'm give it a try. Alright, let's do it. It's like on your back. You subtract me. I just want to cast Thunder Wave on the skull with her. I just want to see it happen. I try again. Alright, I'm going to do it by myself this time. <laughs> I mean, my dice is actually working. Like, I'm probably getting exhausted at this point. It's the third time I'm climbing. Yeah, it, it's it's going to keep going <laughs> the more times you try because you get tired. You take four from this fall. All right, so I'm just going to go for it. No, 
not so. Okay. And then if I fall, then we're just not doing it, I guess. Make an athletics check. You are not tired because you've just been sitting on the back. Yeah. That was almost not good. Athletics? Yeah. 17. Okay, yes. you are able to make it 15. Yeah. All right. You're sort of holding on to the third one up, and you can see it. All right. So I'm not, I'm not at it. I'm just like kind of near it. Yeah, you are within thunder wave range. Of it. I'm within <laughs> thunder wave range. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my staff, and uh, I'm gonna kind of toss it up. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna hold it and press it against the the wall and say, I am flat off the day, wielder. Of the staff of Flandolf the May. <laughs> and you shall not grass. And I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna cast Thunder Wave uh, at third level uh, using my heirloom. Roll damage. Hey, alright. The third level Thunder Wave. I believe it's like 48. Oh, well, it's true by default, so yeah, 48. This entire time, we're just running up the stairs, I'm getting fucking shot. Yeah, four. <laughs> we're just trying to climb up. Oh, oh, oh. I made it to a 20. Sweaty hands. hands. You say that on the blast of the first floor, just blast out towards it, no effect. Dang it! It's a sweaty hand, so some of my eyes. Get grass. I rolled the natural. I rolled the natural twenty to see if it did anything. Dang it! What the? But I did twenty damage. Just you know, okay. natural twenty. That's respectable. <laughs> Damn, says no. I rolled. Hey, grass. I gave you a chance. The skull grass. That's all I can say. Ah, uh, well, that was underwhelming. I like how you waited to do that till after the. Yeah, we literally had a picture. We were doing we, it yeah. during. We were doing it while they were going up. It's yeah, that's true. It would have been simultaneous. Well, and, and I was, and I was like, "Hey, we can try and destroy it." And they were like, "No, we'll just run." So I was after, like, "All right." After they try that, you're probably yeah, well. I mean, with falling place, yeah, you're up there. But yeah, we're just like looking at them. Like, what are they doing? They move for three hundred feet, right? Yeah, you guys just boom, <laughs> and then nothing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it passed. Very it grass. Yep. Sorry. Okay. What are we up? So we went up the stairs. Well, you're now in an empty room that did have a fountain in it, but they activated it and the fountain kind of sinks and okay. shifted to one side and the circus stairs. Is there anyone in there? Yeah, I was going to say night. Yeah, I was walking. I was walking. Make a perception check. Perception. 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 Because you just stayed up a whole bunch of noise. There's really no There's no way. 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 There's so weird. <laughs> kind of like a gremlin on caffeine. Just too late. I never thought I was going to get up. Thank you. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. You make it. <laughs> so you all converge back in the room that you previously had the fountain of blood. So, so are we all there now, or are we still back <laughs> up? You're all up there. You're all oh, up okay. there. Yeah, you are all in I'm the room. About my You're all in the yoga. room that previously had the blood channel. Yeah, okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this would be like a really great way to avoid like copyright strikes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the That's why I'm flying off the day. <laughs> the ray. All right. So we're at the top. <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't, as a, I'm sure Amsh remembers, but as 
Michael, I don't remember how the process was. Was it bottom to top? It was just all of them at the same time. Was it all yeah. at the same time? Okay. I mean, it was all of them at the same time. Says Gwendolf today. <laughs> yes, that's correct. And you, with some stretching, hit all of them at the same time. Yes. By yourself. Does it? Oh, no, he did that, not he's doing that. Not so. I mean, if you'd like to investigate it to see how you get it back up, you can. But not I'm just going to push the button. Uh, well, the fountain has kind of gone down and shifted oh. to the side. You would have to like leap across the staircase to get to it. To figure out how to close it. Okay. Um, this one will not happen. You have 12 plus zero is still 12. Um, you are <laughs> uncertain of how to close the fountain. Now look, okay. make it back. Yeah. Anybody who would like to can. 11. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm just rolling so terribly today, except for my thunder wave damage, and then it huh? did nothing. I climbed that hill. Okay. Uh, uh, you're on the 16, you're not sure. Oh. Here we go. I'm not like me, he's great. I'm just bloody and stuff. So. We're just gonna let this be like this, I guess. Well, we'll alert the local authorities, and they can probably, hopefully, maybe figure it out. Can I get a second try? But I'm only getting paid 69 gold. There's a lot of things that I'm not going to get. Because that's only a one time so I'm trying to check. If we were paid hourly, this would be like five. Um, uh, if, if for investigation, it's just one. You get one shot. You might disappear. Yeah. Sorry. You don't make the rules, it's cool. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, you do make the rules, but yeah. you kind of educate them. Yeah. Fair enough. Well. Guess we guess we're going back then, huh? Yeah. Let's get our sixty nine gold and yeah. get out of here. Call it day. Yes, like mm -hmm. I am one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you head back out. Um, there is a different. Two, you open the southern doors and there's a different two set of guards there, but they're aware that you were down there. The previous two had told them, so they send you back to the lieutenant. Um, and you, I'm assuming you head up the tower to speak to him? Mm hmm Okay. Yep. This is all new to you, okay? They're just kind of <laughs> walking. Um, uh, yes, for the help. Okay, so we went down here. I like how I moved from a like a Halfling to a half elf. I never said half elf. Oh, okay. I thought you said Oh, I asked if she was a half elf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're upgrading slowly. I'm slowly upgrading. You may get to like. By the way, I have, like, I legit have no clue what your your character's race is. I think I just blanked it. They're just. What's a damn here? Or a fire. But they're. Half you probably, you probably half just asked, well, yeah, you probably just pain. picked what human race you were. Yeah. Or so what human race do you, you look like out of curiosity? Cool. Elf, so it elf it is. is. Elf it is. <laughs> elf it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How it works. Yeah. Um, so for the elf, all right. We were hired to kill a cult. We killed the cult, led there. We're getting paid 69 gold piece. That's about it. Yeah. Did I miss anything? No. I killed the dude with the straw. You, yeah. Yes. You killed the cult. Uh, yeah. I'm just with, with the straw. Anyway, so I end out the ray for the rest of you. Okay, I assume that was while you were walking through the tower. Yes, that was yeah. while you were walking up the tower to the tower. All okay. the way to the Alright, you make it up there. Um, he appears to just be at his desk doing some kind of paperwork. He doesn't look up when you walk in. He doesn't seem to have noticed that you walked into the door. Ah! I knock against the door with my staff. He looks up. Oh, hello. He returns a bit damaged again, but. <laughs> I'm it. Never mind about the HP, I fell twice. I'm <laughs> And you have a new friend. What's your name? Elf. Well, now you can call me Belladonna. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, were you successful in um, investigating the, the entirety of this 
place under the cellar? Yeah. Well, well what was down there? So the tomb? Yeah. And a lot of tongues. Someone on the tongue. There may or may not. Anything ever needs to watch? Oh, yes. Sorry. So, thank you for interrupting. <laughs> I expect compensation. <laughs> <laughs> So you see, I had a hundred. Your compensation is my apology. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So we went down there, and now I heroically figured out how to open the fountain. See, I wouldn't go that. Exactly. Now, so, once we figured out how to open the fountain, that led to a big skull pillar. Now, at the time, it wasn't a problem, so we went right past it, and I heroically again discovered how to open it. So I did. We then found a sarcophagus that turned out to be a fake sarcophagus, but then we found the real sarcophagus heroically. That one was a group effort. What we stopped the ritual that was to open it and release who? Ba a Balrog. That guy. Barstool. <laughs> What's his name? Bar Barstool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Barstool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. But we kept that from happening, right. and we could not seal and the. What was cave. in between the two sarcophagus again? Was it just a room with a sarcophagus and a room with a sarcophagus? There was perhaps a trap. There was a trap, and I heroically escaped and helped everyone else escape. Anything I should watch out for if I send someone down there to continue investigating? Don't open the sarcophagus. Right. I figure that much. You're gonna have to figure out how to open the door past the light. I'll figure it out. Yeah, it took us like five minutes. I mean, me, five minutes. Okay. Hold on, you. Thank you. <laughs> Make a deception check. Deception check? I'm going to see if he, oh, he does not know. No. no. Unless you roll worse. I mean, it's pretty possible. I rolled a uh, nine. I got a natural two. So oh. Nine. oh, okay. Yeah, Do you completely two. believe me? I'm not awesome. <laughs> well, uh, as promised, uh, here is your pay. He has 69 gold to each of you three, except and Mila as well. Oh, oh yeah, she's. Yeah, she's just been tagging along. Yeah. And she will not be able to join us today. Some stuff's going on with her family, so she has to head back. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have 32, right? From what I know, our heroes usually don't take the gold, so find out you might want to split the gold. <laughs> it is divisible. You're 69 a piece, Chief. You got your own gold. <laughs> I, then, I added so it, I wrote it down, it down, and then for completely <laughs> forgot what it was. Actually, no, I can't now. I Besides, no. All right. Good explanation. Mm -hmm. Are any of you proficient with insight? Yes. No. Proficient with insight? Mm -hmm. I am as well. Uh, both uh, of you I make see. an additional check. If you are proficient with insight, make an additional check for me. Just a second. 15. Uh, 10. It's not good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> Flake, um, he seems like he had, um, he's, when he asked about things I should watch out for and like specifically inquiring about what's between the sarcophagus, he seems like he has some sort of ulterior motive with that place. You just, you just think that in your head. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, well. Seeing as how uh, we're done, I'm gonna go get some sleep. I don't know about you guys, I'm tired. I, I 
kind of needs to sleep on the free tire. Yeah, hey, elf chick. Too damn, too damn good. Just... I don't think it is. It'd be in your race. I can tell you. I can, I can try That's for... a valid question. I, have, I hadn't thought I have the website up, right. so I can check. Let's do that. Um, but yeah, um, the lieutenant goes, well, um, unfortunately you're not under my hire anymore, so I can't cover your next night, but if you're looking for more work in the future, possibly in, I don't know, next few days, week, you can, ask, you can come and ask. So, thank you for your help. Have a good one. Thank you for the opportunity to serve. Alright, so spell so one that can help me out here. I can, mm -hmm. but it's um, not taking a lot of damage. So it can help some difficulty in that first and the other circle. You see, I would. Here's the thing about wizards. Yeah, we, we can't do that. Can anyone else? I can conjure you. you Any inanimate object that I've seen. Can I conjure a health potion? It's magical. Yeah. It's a magical item. Yeah. Heck. I think the best way for you to do that might just be to sleep. I'm sleeping in the morning. It's spell time. Are there any like. Well, I think we have a sign here. So. Yeah. Have we gone outside at all? Are we still in the challenge? Huh? Yes. Are we outside or are we inside? On us still. That's up to you. I assume you just. I don't know where you're at in yeah. this conversation. But I figured we'd go to the inn. I assume you at met. least walked outside of the tower. Yeah. yeah. Is there any like water drops nearby? Um. <laughs> you walk around, you probably yeah, find sure. something like that. Yeah. I'm gonna wash the blood off. That's so cool. Fair, okay. fair point. I mean, the place you're staying at did have a washroom or some sort. You didn't go in there, but you yeah. know. But it's a military background. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Uh, go into the inn and get some sleep, I guess. Uh, purchasing a ruin that is not covered for you would be um, five silver pieces per person. So, or it would be like two and a half gold. Or just five silver per person. Are we talking to the person now? Yeah. yeah. If I get a room for one gold. I mean, yeah, it's, it's five silver. So yeah, I was just at two and a half. I'm going to do one yet once for everyone. Uh, well, you could do your reserve room. No, it's five silver for first. Yeah. yeah, five silver for first. Okay, yeah, so, so I'm going to say five. Oh, yeah, well, so uh, I'll just get well, so it. I mean, if, if you want to pile into a room, you can. Like, if you just want to pay five silver, <laughs> pile into a room. Okay, okay. How, how, much is, how much space is in a room? Um, they're pretty small. They would sit, they would fit like two, group, two people, okay. Normal size people? You could fit like four or five in there if you really wanted to. But, but we're talking like one of those being a minotaur. So yeah, so. I'm taking my own room. I don't want to sleep with a minotaur. But after yeah. all the fun times so we've had together, you snort. <laughs> we've never even slept in the same room. I can just look at you and know that you snore. I'll go buy some. I'll go buy some. Are you sleep at night? That's so you two are getting rooms by yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting room by myself. Okay. I suppose I'll get a room by myself. You could give him a knee lift. Hello again. Well, you were the one that said you wanted to go by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you can come to my room if you want. I mean, he is three feet tall. I mean, that would be a pretty good day. I'll do that. Okay. So, uh, I got a cup. Neela's gonna pay for her own room. She's not here. She's <laughs> 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 a 
mass on the sea. Right. Yeah, I know. Right? Like, are we going to get water or wine? I don't know. Could be poisoned. Could be poisoned. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a, yeah. It sucks too because my expanse campaign is such like a decision based campaign. It takes so long to do it. Last camp last session in the expanse, you guys were you guys walked into an apartment, stayed in that apartment, and investigated it for like two real time hours. Like seven hours in game time. And then walked outside, went to one place, were there for like five minutes, and then the session ended. Now it's, that sounds terrible. They were doing stuff the whole time in blacks, but everything is a decision. Anyways, yeah, that's 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 this is that session. Yeah, so that, we that. That. completed long registry in the room unless you'd like to do anything before. Uh, I'm gonna sneak. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna pester the elf lady to help me out with my uh, spellbook. How are you gonna do that? You're just gonna walk in. Or what are you gonna do? Hold on. Yeah, I'll knock. A lot. Sorry. Yeah, a lot. She will wait until you stop knocking. And then answer. Alright, so I'm gonna be real here. Flandolf is 6,500 years old. I, yeah. He has infinite patience. Mm -hmm. Cool, it's just gonna be. When he stops, when he stops, like, when there's a couple seconds. Just gonna keep, oh, then, okay, in between. All right. Yeah. Hello. Spellbook, please. Help. Elf, thank you. Yes, All right, cool. So, I have no clue how to defer spellbook. This is Will and Landolf talking. <laughs> so, are you doing this the night before? This, this is night? after. Yeah, after. The next morning. Okay. While we're doing that, I'm going to meditate. It doesn't do anything for me. I just want to do it. You're all right. do it. That uh, arrows on your on your your hands and your your gloves, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Yeah. It's like listening to movies. Watch the disappointment rise. Don't watch the movie. Wow. I'm gonna okay. try the last near vendor, not Avatar. So I think because I know under common, I can only do the marketing. Yeah, you're yeah, able, but I can get the spell. Together, over. you're able to figure it out. Yeah, over probably the next. You hours, like okay. the first half of the day. That file then it's not like we have any where to be. No. The first half of the day, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so uh, you, like you kind of just skip past the cantrips. Because, what? Because you can't learn your cantrips, that's just kind of getting worse before oh. <laughs> uh, You also will need to copy these down into your spell book with the required components to use them. But yeah. Write, yeah, write these down. Um, Obviously has a dimension door, you saw them use it. Okay, give me a uh, dimension door. What level is that? A four. <laughs> I can be able to use that for a while. Yeah. Dimension door, okay. Where are you trapped? Oh, you're just. Oh, okay. My phone. Well, you can't add them to your still book yet, that's what I'm saying. You don't have the required components to. Oh! Oh, I have to pay on the wizard page in the players. Yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to pay money for ink and good paper. And you have to roll to see if you actually like it. Oh, so you, you don't right. have to roll okay. So I've never played a wizard before. It's all good. Uh, so, I think it's 50 gold material for first party. Well, it has to do with the level, too. The time and money increase depending on the level of the spell. Yeah. Okay, copying a spell into the book. Okay, it takes two hours and 50 gold pieces, which is the material components to do it. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So right now you're able to figure out what they are. Right, right. Yeah. okay. And you will also need her help to, or someone who knows under yeah. help to okay. copy them down. Right. You mentioned door. Um, and invisibility, you also saw them use. And I think those are the only two that were seen. 
Okay, but what else is in the book? Um, I'd assume some sort of ritual on how to open that. <laughs> That's all right. Probably. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, chromatic orb. Uh, gift of alacrity. Okay. Ray of sickness. Okay. And Tasha's caustic brew. Oh. Second level, like I said, invisibility. Uh, and then uh, blur. Blur. Okay. And sky right. Okay. And yeah, so there's a lot in here. Awesome. Let me keep going. For it. And then for third, um, animate dead. You know, we'll just stop at second because I can't, it's not like I'm going to be able to eat those yet. So I'll just do that another time. Okay. okay. Cool. Alright, so I have 195 gold. So I can do almost four spells. And then you're going to need to find, I will say, you're going to need to find a place to buy that stuff as well. That's fine. Okay, I don't want to just like bore everyone while I literally sit here on my phone and try and like figure out what all these things do. So if you guys want to do anything, I'm just going to figure out what all these stuff does. But while they are figuring that out for the first half of the day, yeah. if you two and Milo would like to do anything, I'm assuming you tell them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just keep the blockers <laughs> up. And okay. Just like, yeah, hey, let's do this. Uh, appreciate having a bedroom for the first time. Um, the first time in three weeks to sleep. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there, uh, I guess I'll go to five and come in the same room with you. So, after you meditate, I'm just going to stare at you. Is there anything to do? Sure, we can find something around here. There's after all this godly stuff here. I'd say let's go take a gander. Let's see what we can come across. I like it's play. Me too. So, uh, I think we're going to go wander the town. Let's see if there's something to do. Okay, uh, so you're currently in. Um, outskirts of the town. It's kind of just residential. If you want to go into the city to like the first marketplace, you can do that. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's just easier to do this. Pull that up really quick. Literally just going through the player's handbook and trying to find it. What is Gift of Alacrity from? Uh, that's actually from uh, Explorer's Guide to Wild Mountain. That's pretty cool. But Okay, so it's not in the player's handbook or anything that would have on me now, which is unfortunate. What's this? Uh, it, it's a first level spell. You cast it on somebody and it gives them an extra uh, D8 to their initiative, I believe. No, not the RP. That's not you're doing from. Well, I just have all the the published spells on the list. Yeah, is it the D8 to initiative? Yeah. I'm doing it on the D8. Once you go up to the city wall and there's the gate with guards, they let you walk by, there's tra uh, free traffic in and out. Um, right in there's like this circular area with a fountain in the middle of the road that's kind of go into the city. Uh, you ask somebody and they're like, oh yeah, market's over there. Um, you head over there uh, and it's known as the Wild Flower Plaza. Make it there, there's all types of merchant shops. It's quite busy. 
the middle of the day. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I've fixed my cells, so I'm going to go and do that. Maybe help waiting. This, this is while you guys are doing that. Okay, okay. gotcha. All right, but I, all right. Okay. Well, I would assume that at some point I go out and grab a hundred gold pieces worth of whatever. Okay. Because I'm only mm -hmm. grabbing two spells. So, yeah. So, is there anything specific you'd like to look for? Or? Some looks interesting. That yeah. looks interesting. Um, Random event or something like that. Um, There is the, the shop that probably sticks out to you a little bit. There is a the appears to be a blacksmith shop called the Falling Hand. The sign outside. There appears to be a orcish man inside, kind of hammering away at the forge. What city are we in again? Huh? What city are we in again? Uh, it's called Zaya. It's a port. It's a port city. By some sea monsters. Too bad there's no folks. Sorts acquired this axe, and I'd like to know more about it. Since I pull out my take a look. Great axe. Take sure. it. And he sets it on the table to the side. He kind of finishes up what he's doing and sets it to the side. Um, and he kind of examines it for a second. Well, it's quite a nice piece. I'm not exactly sure where it came from or what this design means. A nice make. Where'd you get it? Looks like backstory time. <laughs> no, I don't want to make too much. Oh, yeah, right. I got it from a place called the, the Oasis. I don't know if you've ever heard of something like that. I have. From what I heard, there's not much civilization there. As I've said, I'm a, I'm a traveler. Just find out the ground or something? <laughs> yeah. Basically, yes. There were <laughs> some events prior, but. Do you have an event that Mike will remember? I do. Remember how, how, exa happened? how exactly? Yeah, yeah. backstory right in front. Okay. Yeah. I'm just not sure if that's common. You know, like it's up to you if you want to tell them the whole thing or not. I had what would best be described as a, a vision. I don't really remember most of it. It was just bits and pieces that come through. Um, but even those are foggy. But I had a vision and it disappeared once the vision had ended. That's my week. Well, I figured you would at least be a place to start. I appreciate the few words that you had about it. Do you know where I could go to Oops. acquire more knowledge about it? I have no idea. It sounds quite magical. We do have a magic shop here. The guy is so weird. Um, it's in that little tiny tower right over there. Wait, there is a magic shop here? You're decoding your stuff right now. Past two sessions, John. Asking us. Magic shop. Uh, yeah, I mean, the guy said, I'll, the lieutenant told you maybe there is, but you probably wouldn't be able to make it back in time. That was what ended up getting it's fine. decided on. Just sad. <laughs> well, then, uh, perhaps I'll head over there. Uh, About this time, you two probably begin heading over there. Flick, flick. I'll remember it. It's like flick and elf. 
spell it out for this time. So, uh, Flair, would you like to do anything here before I head over? Because I'm going to go over to that magic shop and see what we can get just in sort of trouble over there. Uh, I'm more interested in the magic shop than maybe a book store. So, at this point, are we like done? We see them. What's going on? You'd be, you'd be about now just begin heading into town if you're going to follow them. Follow them. Yeah, I'm down to go. Do we know what's up with them? Or? No, not yet. You would just be heading from the inn, the tavern, to. to oh, yeah. okay, gotcha. Which took them asking around to slip from the middle. Let's go to the magic shop. Perhaps it's going to be a book that you may find in. Visions of war and visions of blood and violence. There's also visions of peace and hope for a better future. Or at least that's how it, I interpret it. It's more so feelings, less than actual picture that comes to mind. The day I was born, I had visions. What was your vision about the place where you were born? What's up? What was your vision of the place where you were <laughs> born? <laughs> it was a lot of dark. Perhaps there was a big flash of light. There was a voice calling out. It's a little fuzzy. Perhaps maybe the vision will come clearer as time goes on. Let's go check out the shop. Is there anything you wanted to do in town? More find like the shadiest part of the tavern. Like, I let my block like hood just sit in the corner. So I'm gonna go too. For, <laughs> <laughs> for like rumors or things in the curry okay. in the in the city or town. You should go around listening and see can I come for interesting things. Can I come? <laughs> Got nothing better to do. Wrote down the spells. You yeah. can be quiet. I have the so, spell invisibility okay. now. So you, you two, you, you you haven't got quite got to that. You haven't quite gotten into the city yet. But make investigation checks for that. And then you two for the magic shop. You eventually make it there unless there's anything else you wanted to say. I'm gonna fall in terribly today. Okay. Seven. Um. So, it's um. There's a sign outside, this super tiny tower, and this it feels very homely to you. It looks like a gnome's tiny, basically just a tiny house. Um, it's called the Turkier's Tallest Tower. How tall is this tower? It's tall. Probably the shortest building in this entire market. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Better question, how tall is it's the like doorway? It's like a cylindrical and then it has the right. little pointy top. How tall is the doorway? Uh, probably about four feet tall. Okay, so a 60 is not going to get through that. It'd like be tough, but yeah, you're, you're going to be like more, yeah, more crouching, more like crawling in there. All right. So if you open the door and go inside? Yeah, when I get inside. Did you build this tower? Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you open the door and you go inside, and the door feels like it gets bigger as you go in. And as it, op and as it opens up, it opens into this room that's four times the size of the tower. Um, it's this, um, there's three circular tables set up on this nice red carpet. There's a staircase set up on the left side. Um, and it has, appear to be just stacks of baked goods sitting there. Exactly. On, the, uh, on the tables, um, yeah, and there's no place, there's no person in there, but the 
There's no door. You can see the staircase just goes up into the next part of the tower. Is there like a anchor bell on the counter? Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not sure. Yeah. But you to the left. We have a three. You to the left. See the sign that says "shop" upstairs. It points upstairs. Yeah, I think we're supposed to go that way. Hello. As we're walking the stairs, I, I grab you. Yell at hello. 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 What bank goods are on this? <laughs> and you can have new customers. I haven't. I haven't got customers in quite a while. And you see uh, this. <laughs> figure walk down the stairs. You've got a staff that's like as tall as him, and he holds it like up here. Um, and he peeks down the stairs, and he begins walking down the stairs. And he like um, puts his staff against the wall and like bolts down the stairs to be right in front of you. What brings you into my shop? It's like this super old like. Like three hundred year old gnome, <laughs> in these nice blue ornate robes. Yeah, it says that too. Well, the door fit me, so I walked in. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't fit most people until they get inside. Yeah, it is quite big in here. Yeah, I uh, have a slightly different story. I am the work from across the street. Bloody hammer. Bloody hammer. Bloody hammer. Yes. Bogram is a nice man. Bogram is a nice Bogram? man. Bogram. Okay. I didn't catch his name, but I'll have to make the acquaintance later. I've talked to him a few times. He seems like a nice fellow. I uh, have a question for you. Is this axe here? I asked him about it. He really wasn't able to find it. Um, can you tell me anything about it? I can check it out. And he uh, sort of um, conjures the spectral blue hand that comes up and grabs the axe from you. It's super short of it. And he kind of pulls it down and it hovers in front of him. Um, and he waves his hand and casts some sort of spell towards it. I can tell you what it does, but it will take me a bit longer to figure out its whereabouts and its legend. Tell I, I, are you aware of its abilities? Some of its abilities. Uh, I got it a little while back. I know it has some abilities of extra planar. It's quite a powerful weapon. Travel. Like it was like to be an overnight thing. I would charge a little bit for it. Could be done. What price are we talking here? Well, that would at least make you pay for the components of the spell that I used up, and maybe a little bit more for my labor. Give the DM rules to see how much that is. Can I also copy his magic? I assume that's what it's up. I, do I have time to spell casting copy? Is it too early? Oh, too early oh you mean for your, yes. your heirloom? Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's identified. Well, identified. Empty. Yeah. So can I copy it? Like copy it immediately and then cast it on his. You know, I'll just gonna hold it. Are you gonna hold it? Oh, so are we? Sure, you can hold it. Yeah. For now, we'll say you can hold it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can hold it on to an identifier. Yeah. Which one is she going to go on? I was like, what is that noise? Is my, like, is the house about to just explode or something? Oh, that would be true. Someone would have a wall, you know, it's blue. Yeah. It's a broken lock machine. Looking hot, it just came to me naturally. Quite gifted. We'll see. It would be about 300 gold. 
charge such a high price for such little work? So it, it's a short trip. Um, well, just just to make you aware of what he's doing. Well, I mean, well, I understand that like identify has I forget the cost of it. Oh, it's not just it's not just identifying it. I would learn the whole story about the item, all of all of its history. I could talk. Can we cast animate object? And just Thanks. start rapid fire. Yeah. Shout out for cash. <laughs> If you start for cash, I could do it for a favor for two hundred for two hundred. Just if I need to help with something. You need help with something? I'm sure I could come up with something. Well your offer is good, but I think I will turn it down. I'd rather learn the secrets slowly and through myself than spread out the game with you. Very well. Would you like to see the shop? Perhaps we'll take a look around. I'm sure uh, it's like here would like to take a you know, wander. <laughs> so you head up into the shop and it's like a Basically, like a knickknack shop. It's not really organized at all. I mean, there's price tags, but it's kind of just scattered out everywhere. Um, several different kinds of items. Um, some literally are just non magical, small knickknacks. Um, but I will let you know some of the things you see. Uh, before you do that, what, my question is still remains. Well, oh, you can help yourself to those. I get them to my customers. Uh, they're from the local bakery, right? Right down that way. You know, I conjure. Conjure bakery. Yeah, right. Like you know, something with a bowl of pastry or something. And yeah. you have catapult. Um, <laughs> still for some. Still for some. <laughs> Can I do like stone for gold? Can I like roll for investigation to figure out what type of pastry it is? Hinch doesn't really trust me yet. Huh? Oh, yeah. Like, can I, like, I'm just trying to figure out is it like we're talking donuts? We're talking like eclairs? All sorts of stuff like that. All the okay, so it's all the above. He, he literally went to the bakery and was like, "Want everything?" <laughs> That's what all it right. looks like. I'll grab a few. But you want to like okay. see if it's like poisonous? It'd probably be a medicine chip. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Yeah. You know? uh, perhaps. You also roll well on your medicine. Oh, it's plus three. Fifteen plus three is eighteen. That one's relevant, so that's one. Too bad I have that in there. I'm trying to figure out what kind of paper it is. Poison. Um, it's a strawberry eclair, right? <laughs> and it is huge. Uh, it, they are not poisonous. <laughs> Okay, I'll pick a couple off the table. Two of you? Yeah. yeah. You die! No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching them. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You're shy. Yeah, I'll take it. Makes sense. Okay, so. Um, you see several different, uh, different kinds of potions. Um, there's one that appears to look like uh, liquefied iron. Um, there's one that has a upside down jellyfish inside of it. Uh, there's two more potions of healing, just like the ones you saw with Urphus, and then there appears to be an extremely large 
interpretation of human. Um, he appears to have the small um, bag, and when you look inside, it's just a bag of dust. Uh, another thing you find is uh, this large black hole in the ground. Hole? Yeah, so it's just a black hole in the ground, about 10 feet deep. You can hop in it and climb it up. Is there a tire stack next to it? Yeah, there's a tire stack next to it. See, it's weird because like the price tag is on it, but then it, they, then when you go in, the price tag appears to be closed. Okay, interesting. Um, you wondering about that one there? Yeah, it's a portable hole. You can take that with you wherever you go. Get a lot of meat. That is infinitely useful. How much it is? I've seen it. I mean, incredibly useful. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it there? <laughs> Slightly more than you have. Simple thumb. <laughs> For a hole. And then there's a, a necklace hanging on the wall that appears to have a pendant with a shield on it with a diamond in the center. Um, there is a extremely fashionable cloak hanging on the wall. Is it patches on it? That you, what? Is it patches on it? Uh, no, but after about a minute, it, cha it completely changes color and like it goes from like a bear skin to just a regular cloak. I'm curious about that too. Okay. And then he also has a key. he also has a key on the wall that's it looks like just a regular key, but it's displayed so like well, it makes you kind of curious. What would be the most ex uh, least expensive, I should say, not most expensive, least expensive item we have here? Those potions over there are quite inexpensive. He points to the regular healing potions. And then you know, that key over there isn't too much, but you know, pretty low chance of working. But if it does work, it's pretty cool. What does it um, do? So the key is the mystery key. One second. It basically has a low chance to open any lock. But when it does open a lock, it will go away. Um, it's a piece. Those are all 50 gold each. What kind of favor would it take for this big hole? Pretty big favor for that big of a hole. Well, so they can only give a discount for the favor. I have to, I have to make a living. What's the discount looking like? What we do is at most those 1500. So you think about one o'clock? Yeah, that's not real life, right? I have a question is that all movable? It is a, you can roll it up, it, it's a rug, it's basically a rug and it turns into a hole. It's foldable, yeah, it's foldable. Yeah. This is me. Okay, so while they're kind of discussing that, I'll, get, I'll cut to you two, sort of investigating for. I got an eighteen. Okay, oh, I got. I have totally like looked at that. I just have ideas. It's It's um. Twenty-two. Say, wow. Wait, no, thirty-two. Sorry, but also. Um, in the farmlands where there's cattle being destroyed by these strange purple growths on their uh, torso and necks, um, which you're not really sure of the origin of it because, I mean, if you've dealt with these cultists quite a bit now and they didn't seem to be casting anything like that, at least not with you, but... Um, and then you also hear um, that the um, the guy that you've been working for, Lieutenant Norman, um, is he Lieutenant Norman? Norman. <laughs> Norman yeah, his, his full name that you find out is Norman Elias. Yeah. Um, Norman. 
Elias. Elias. <laughs> As in Norman, like, alias? <laughs> okay. I don't even know who you're talking about. Oh, it's, it's called a fake name. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. that was not intentional. Um, but you found out he's, according to a lot of the people in those outskirts over there, they've been he's been acting kind of strange recently, uh, completely out of the ordinary, and made you think like he totally went straight past the law and just let you kill a guy with no repercussions. Um, Seems all right to me. Well, well, I don't know laws. That's that's fair. So you might not think anything of it, but um, yeah. And then with you got a twenty-two, twenty, thirty, twenty, thirty, twenty. What did you get? Okay. Well, the twenty you would um, you would hear that um, he took a band. He took a group of about ten guys and went to that set about two hours ago and went into that cellar. You guys cleared out. No, um, after that, no. That's not good. What do you think? It sounds like he has his own business. I mean, other small criminal activities like robbing this place. And There was a guy who robbed a bakery um, for some weird oh. reason. Did one of everything? No, it's one of everything. No. That's how we get to the same different bakery. But, um, there was some kind of murder in an alley um, by the docks that hasn't been quite figured out yet. Um, yeah, that's about all you hear. All right. So is the general consensus that this? Did, did either of you want any of these? Or? Well, we are in the magic shop. shop. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, oh, I'm talking about. I don't want those. So, are are we just like sitting in a tavern, like in the corner? This is of all yeah. like you went to a tavern, you checked out. I assume you were just searching for things like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So of, of all the places you went, that's what we heard on your way there. Yeah. That's okay. What we heard. So at this point, assuming you were still trying, were you trying to meet up with them or not, or was that your only goal? I was okay. following her. Okay, well, yeah, that, that's what you heard over right. that time. Yeah. Okay. So, is the general consensus around the community that the Sorman guy, like, how do they view him as a person? Is it, is it like he has his own motives and, or he's just been acting strange recently? It's just pretty much that. They're not exactly certain why or what it is, but yeah, he's just. Like, sort of. I don't know, being like a lot looser on the law as he, than he usually is, and I guess sort of having his own motives, but. Okay. Just seems, the, so like, the general consensus is he seems like a different person. Like he just acts completely different than what most people know. Well. So, as a uh, kind of new person to this whole espionage thing, <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm kind of like at this point, we're like chilling in a tavern and we're like like listening to people. That is one place you go to. Right? Okay. So I'm just like, so at this point, Flandolf, who's still in his gray cap and robe and it has like his staff like up yeah. against the wall. Zero percent conspicuous. Yeah, like maybe, you know, maybe, it's, <laughs> maybe it's like summoning a pebble and then like dismantling it or like dismissing it. So it's like glowing like each time too, because all of those items do. Um, yeah, so just, just kind of... Hmm. But what now? Go find the others. There are other people. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, this Norman guy, you feel like we should probably like intervene with this whole Norman thing? For what purpose? Good point. We have no information other than his own 
that's in Spanish. Well, I mean, it's so people down there. We were down there. You know, you're coming up with some really good arguments. <laughs> it sounds like he's the lawman of this town. It's not strange to me that he would send people down to investigate. But he went down, and apparently he's been acting strangely. We don't have enough information for you to read. Good point. And do we really want to appeal an entire law of the town? Yeah. I mean, what is law, really? It's just an ethical dilemma, really. You know, I have a friend, back from where I come from, who just... Back in my day, I had a friend. I'm back in my day. Uh, back when the world was young and so were you. So like grabs, that. You, <laughs> grabs a drink and starts like Yeah, some you know, conjures like yeah. a mug of ale. When I asked the right time, your grandpa planned <laughs> His accent just completely changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Becomes but, youthful. Mm -hmm. No, no, just just start speaking in a southern accent. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, but no, I was just gonna go. So I had this friend. He ignored the law. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the whole story. He has. <laughs> so do you think we should go find the others? Yeah. 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 Okay. Never split the party. That's one rule. They all. They always told us that where I come from. <laughs> Never split the party. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So we just get up and go? Has no one taken notice to this weird eye? I mean, you get some weird looks, but no one like comes and says anything. Okay. Like that. You know, like weird whispers and like... She realized, I can summon ale. I never have to buy any. Can you summon liquid? Any inanimate object. You never have to pay this out of the bar. That's genius. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Summon we, we will just It disappears after an hour, so like... Yeah, but they don't know that. It glows, it's magical. <laughs> Alright, yeah. It's worth twice the money. It's like you live you know, before it digests, it just disappears. <laughs> hey, it's a good way to, like, <laughs> keep yourself from starving to death. <laughs> just eat every hour. Yeah, just eat every hour. Point taken. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. I am good at Alright. <laughs> So I think are we just heading over to uh, the rest of the party? Just walk around. Just gonna walk around. Well, you, you guys don't know where we so, are. Yeah, if you don't know where they are. Or do you want to go next? Well, that's really cool. Or did you? Or did you just say, yeah, we just no one in the town? Well, right. I don't know. I mean, they're busy doing legitimately. Yeah. Magic shop. I could go buy some spells. That's all I'm saying. I have some more spells, but more spells are always useful. Spells. And before we leave the bar, we'll just ask the tavern. Then point you towards the same plaza that they would be in, but okay. some more time has passed for you guys, so. Okay. So, he kind of does his little thing again where he takes his staff and he jumps onto the, on top of the thing. So, are you interested in anything or curious about anything? Got any spells? Damn it. What else are Spells. So, I'm, I crouch down next to Flick. I whisper near there. Um, can you do me a favor? See if you can get the data to the recital store or something and distract it. Is there a third floor? Uh, there does not appear to be. At least not. Do you have any books spread around? Perhaps. 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 Books. Spell. Can, can you show me some books? I'm looking for a couple books to if like you read. Can you take an interest in them? What, what about? Well, specifically, I'm assuming I'm taking them to the other side of the store, right? But he, got, he comes up to you. And, yeah. Specifically, I'm looking for children's books. You got anything? Hmm. I don't know if you want. What kind of children? Super small children? Adolescents? Teenagers? 
Oh, that was one experience, experience childhood. I gotta start at the basics. <laughs> Let me read better. I got a lot of knowledge missing. I don't wanna start there. Alright. I probably have a few left over that I can get rid of. He walks over to the wall and sort of uh, waves his hand and summons the door. Uh, the doorway. And he begins walking through. It's a small staircase up this sort of side tower. Uh, you go through. Well, this is my uh, personal library, but I own one of my personal libraries. No, I don't use it a whole lot anymore. You look around. And what would you like to do while they're <laughs> going? Yeah, so, um, oh, no. I'm going to take off my backpack that I have, and I'm going to take the magic hole, and I'm going to put it in my backpack. It is a. Do you still have it? Yeah. <laughs> like a 10 foot rug. <laughs> okay, um, so I, I don't put it in my back. Take it and run. I take it and run. Because it folded up to the dimensions of a handkerchief. Uh, the door will fit it because it fits to whatever size it goes through. It says it fits, it goes to a handkerchief. It goes to a handkerchief? Yeah, it folds up to the dimensions of a handkerchief. Then I fold it up really quickly to this size of a handkerchief. And then I um, put in my backpack and run. Well, I don't think I'm going to run, but I'm going to casually walk down. Because why would you run from a magic store? Why would you try to steal from a magic store? That's the real question. You're just going to get zapped by lightning. As you get up and begin walking towards the stairs, you hear a loud, ah! and bird, <laughs> this bird, and then uh, the gnome runs, like, oh! and he begins running back down the stairs. What do you think you're doing? I'm doing what I think should be done, especially when you charge such high prices for things around here. Why don't you keep reading books? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, that was the issue. Well, actually, no, you would hear his half of it. Not you wouldn't hear him. But... Well, make a perception check. Okay. 20. Okay, okay. Yeah. you hear the whole thing. Okay, I'll put the books down. Set it down. Me. Um, he waves his hand and the staircase becomes floor and it's no longer there. Wait. Where am I? Am I on the first floor? No, you're still on the second floor, but the staircase isn't there. Like, there's no hole where the staircase would be, it's just floor. Oh. So I can't get down? Yeah. Okay. But he's on the second floor? Yes, he's still standing across from me. Mayhaps scoring rush? <laughs> Are you actually trying to fight this guy? Okay. I'm not leaving one out that hole. So. You begin, you begin, you begin <laughs> rushing at him, okay? Oh, go my goal. Um, okay, we're gonna roll initiative here. So, okay. <laughs> okay. so, 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 so where are we at? Still we're walking. probably at still the top, right? Still walking there. Well, awesome. But so well, much time yeah, but this is simultaneous. Yeah. Because you guys said you weren't trying to do it on the way there, so I assume you're a bit further away. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. he has All right, so if he kills you both, yeah, well, he can't help it. No. Yeah. So we have no idea. We're, we're sitting no in a tavern and you're we're walking chilling. there. You're chilling. Drinking ale that's going to leave my system. To... I can't get drunk if I drink ale that I conjure because I can just unconjure it from my system. I'm just, there's just nothing but benefits here. <laughs> I can roll a 17, by the way. Okay. As well as I. <laughs> you both roll 17? Oh, yeah. Well, I got a 21 over here. So. <laughs> what happens when you're level 20? I already am. Keep this in your tower. Okay. <laughs> no, you're fighting a beast on his own here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm a I'm Minotaur. Yeah. Not that smart. Evidently, yeah. intelligence is actually the lowest score. Intelligence was his dump stat. Gotcha. <laughs> no, this is how okay, it goes. well, he is the first. Give me one moment. <laughs> 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 
You guys should wait. You rested, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You love this. Okay. Yeah, you are at full HP. Yeah. Like, I mean, okay, so, so he's he's probably a pretty high level wizard, right? His HP can only be like twenty. Well, and then that's a slight exaggeration, but not a big one. Rush, that do anything? Uh, well, you would have gotten that before the combat, so go ahead and roll an attack. Okay. <laughs> Sean's just done. <laughs> Sean's like, what? But, but, you can do this. <laughs> you may certainly try. Yeah. Okay, I can throw character. 14 to hit, and then d6 plus 1 is 5. What is it to hit? Uh, 11 plus 3, that's 14. Well, that, you would dodge out of the way. And you run by him. Well, you at least run up to him. And he just walks out of the way. Okay. Um, and then with that, it would go to his turn. Uh, and he... Uh, going to cast a wish. Okay, you've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> With your delete <laughs> power of killing. I feel like John would be a nicer DM than that. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 um, you see him sort of wave his hand to an incantation, and then he reaches his hand like this and grabs, and you feel a massive hand come behind and attempt to grab you. Um, That's a lot of dice. <laughs> it was it was just advantage. Uh, <laughs> uh, Can I see the flag off signal in the sky? For his reason from the spell. Oh. Um, I have no spells that would help in this situation because I have no clue what's going on. Um, yeah, if you want to, he's attempt, it's attempting to, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically a grapple attempt, so if you want to make a contested strength check with it, I think it's athletics. Okay. Yeah, contested athletics. So I just add a modifier to it? Oh yeah, plus athletics. Seven. 23. So a hand grabs you yeah. and begins pulling you up. Um, I guess you would get an attack of opportunity on the wizard if you're being pulled away from him. Okay. And also the hand deals you. Um, 600. <laughs> I just really want to see you. It's, it's, it's 14 uh, blood, uh, yeah, bludgeoning damage. Mm. So he begins pulling you away. Okay, so attack of opportunity. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe I did the wrong thing. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Nice one. Just a little. I guess if I die, I'm making a character. I die, I die. You don't get there faster. Not at all. That's why I was sick. Then I'll, I guess I'll just swing it in with my axe and I don't know what to do. Okay, yeah. I'll make an attack. Okay. Swing get an hit. So ten to hit. Uh misses. As you're pulled up towards the ceiling by the hand. Um, and that's is he's gonna step a little bit away into the middle of the room. And it's your two turn, you have the same initiative, so maybe we should talk about this. You come out of the room and say, <laughs> yes. At the same time, I don't know what you want to do on your turn. I'm going to edge behind him to see if I can get behind him. He's in the middle of the room. Okay. Just without him looking at me specifically. 
Um, after saying that, I'll cast sleep at second level. On him? Yes. Roll it. <laughs> you doing okay, John? I was so angry. Oh, I well. That was so This good. is just hilarious. <laughs> Uh, you can cast a counter spell. <laughs> that's what I was trying to do. That. What? That's a fair point. Well, does that spell have verbal components? Because it can hear you if, you, if it does. Or, um, I will make him roll perception. It does have one point. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, crush. Uh, make a sleight of hand. Yeah, we'll you did say you were trying to be stealthy about that. Beat a 10. I rolled a 19. Okay, okay, you're good. He does not know what you're casting it, so he's not going to counter spell. But, there's something that has to show you. Um, I mean, you know, I, mean, I didn't expect this, but uh, I guess we need battle music. This is not ideal. Thirty-six. Wow. Thirty-six. Thirty-six HP. So I didn't have a character sheet for this guy. So we're gonna go based on average. So break on the calculator. <laughs> At least. Yeah. He's actually telling me he's just being nice, right? You see him get extremely fatigued and then he goes back towards you. He's okay, I'm looking around while I'm doing this. Is it completely floor or is there a way we can go over the side of the stairs? No, it's completely flat. It has changed it to be completely flat. Are there any windows? No. <laughs> you would have removed those two with the same hand swipe, so. <laughs> I'd like to go back to my little room. My little reading room. Come out, <laughs> attempt to cast sleep, and go back up. You're like, okay, you end your turn like part way up the stairs. Okay. And then what would Imps like to do? About 15 feet in the air, being held by the giant hand. The crappy part is like all my stuff is yeah. bonus actions. This would be an action to attempt to break free from the hand. Oh, right. If you want to do that. <laughs> I'm good. I'd like to do that while also doing a bonus action of step of the way. Oh. I will say that wouldn't help you break the ground. Because it disengages the action, right? Oh, you get your step of the wind as this Yeah, you get my one key point. Well, this engage just stops them from getting attack of opportunity. It wouldn't make oh. it so you're on the ground. Okay, well, I'll do a bonus action or something else at some point. Um, you can see what you want to do if you're able to break the ground. Yeah, I guess we'll see. What am I rolling for? Uh, athletics. Contestant with it. So, nine plus. Athletics is two, so eleven. You've got a twenty-four, so it maintains the grapple. That's, that's the strength of twenty-six. Wow. That's the strength of twenty-six. <laughs> Your action, unfortunately. Yeah, so. Uh, and I can't do a bonus action, right? Because it's a grapple. Or just. I'm getting a call again, I think you said. Huh? I, I can't do anything else because I'm grappled still, right? Uh, you can't. All grapple means is you can't move. Your speed is zero. Oh, so I can still attack. Yeah, you could try to hit it, but your action was to. I don't think I have anything. Well, 
You're good. I can. I'm going to do an elemental strike. You can activate the elemental strike and then use it on the next turn. Okay. Yeah. That, that works. I'll do that. Um, so and then just activate it. Should I roll now or should I roll later? Roll when you hit it. Okay. And then that's your turn. Yeah. Back to his turn. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I won't tell the guards, but don't come back. And he summons a hole in the wall and throws you out of it with the hand. Uh, I, mean, I guess I'll have it make a check. So I'm on the second story of this thing. So you get thrown out. I mean, I guess I'll have it make a strength check, but it's a yeah, natural 19, so... Can I at least do like a saving throw or something? Uh, make an acrobatic check to see how hard you hit the ground. Okay. So is he <laughs> being thrown out of the shop? Yeah, from the second story window. Uh, uh, so is this the time where we could be coming into the plaza? That's an, ex that's an interesting point, actually. You see... A minotaur that looks oddly like your friend just gets <laughs> just out of the sky, above, <laughs> above the marketplace, and just <laughs> fall. Okay, I will say the damage you're taking this is half. Half. That's only a d6 per 10 feet. Half of 36 is equal. So 16 half to 8. Okay. Bludgeoning damage. We are okay. Um, we are at 40. And with with that same motion, the hallway you're in gets wider, and the hand comes over to you, and the hand appears next to you. But the hand already took its action to turn. Okay. There is a massive hand blocking your way to him. Okay. Is it my turn now? Yes. It is How far turn. away is the hole in the wall? Um. Well, you have to get through this hand to get to it, but. Just looking at it. Uh, no, no. Well, you, well, you actually didn't see it because you're not back in the staircase, right? So yeah, you don't know. You don't even know about the hole. But the hand knows I'm there. Well, he knows you're there. And he sends the hand where it goes. Okay, hang on. I'll use my uh, same thing, uh, the Twilight Sanctuary, and my action to make just a glow of darkness around me. I'm going to dim light and try and sprint past the hand and see if it's Well, hands up completely blocked in the entrance way. It's completely You're trying to like blocked. squeeze through a finger or something like that. Yeah, I'll try and squeeze through a finger. Make an acrobatic shit. Okay. I'm just trying to get out. Acrobatics. I still have my bag. Mm -hmm. So I saw everything that I used in the chocolate. Yeah. Except the. Well, actually, I don't think. Yeah, you were. You were. Yeah. Or. Were you holding drug? It was in my backpack. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, yeah, I said I pulled it up to a feature size. Yeah. And then I put it in my backpack and then. Yeah. Or something made a noise in the computer. So it's in my backpack. Okay, it's fixed now. Um, okay, you're able to get past the hand who's standing in the doorway. It's him. So you hop past the hand and then immediately it was there in front of you. I'm, I'm just trying to lead. You can throw me out if you want. I'm just going to try and spin past him. Um, I'll also make another check. Do the same thing. It'll be easier because there's a lot less. <laughs> a lot smaller. Uh, dirty 20. Yeah, you hop past him, but as you run by, he's going to use his attack of opportunity. 
for the Warcaster to cast a spell. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's right. I'll give you a little taste of your own medicine. Sweet. <coughs> oh, God. That's uh, 5d8 at first level, right? Yes. Wow. 7d8 is a little pretty freaking nice. Sorry, she happens. It's not an actual one, though. Actually, he rolled not too good to 18. Okay. How far do I make it to the window? Um, I mean, it's like 15 feet up in the air. Because he did it at the ceiling. Okay. But well, your movement's 25, right? Yeah. And you probably make it almost to the middle of the room. And with your wall locking, it'd probably be 30, 35 feet to get to the hole. After your movement. Yes, I'm going to try to feel right in the seat now. I need my action to hit the dim lights so you can see me. So I'll pass. That's it? Alright. I mean... Uh, okay. <laughs> that is turning to the bring the hand over and attempt to grab you. <laughs> I have my temporary response to it. I have my temporary response to it. For the, the dim lights. Yeah. And if you want to make it, oh wow, it rolled really low this time. Make a contested shrink check. Now, <laughs> 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 takes you up and pulls you up towards that uh, window, and you will take. I only I rolled a fourteen. It's really low for it, but uh, that's really bad. For him or for you? I rolled almost back. <laughs> uh, you take. Uh, that's only a bonus action, too. Uh, <laughs> 60. No, it's 16. Oh. Okay. Uh, and then. He is going to do his little staff pole vault thing. Again, off the wall, and he's going to get high enough to thunder wave you, make a constitution, <laughs> constitution saving throw. Going to thunder wave you out the window. Wow. Not you take. Oh, wait, first level, it's only 2d8, huh? Yeah. Not bad. Uh, only seven points of thunder damage. <laughs> the hand lets go and you knock out the window, and then I'm pushing on the way down. Am I able to cast a spell? Uh, right through the air. If not this way. Well, how it works? You begin falling at the start of your turn. Okay, I'm casting cure wounds on myself in the second row. That's fine. Yeah. I will say you can't attempt to make an acrobatic check if you're focusing on casting a spell. I said it. So I heal seven. I I'm get, saying that giving you the option to do the I'll get my temporary points as well. Thanks, not normally. Um, you take 15 points of bludgeoning damage yeah. from the fall. Wait, how many? 15. Six gold. I'm just going to Okay. Goldfish and Dr. Pepper. And, and what was the first thing you did when you hit the ground? What do you mean? Like, just hit the ground, right? Yeah, do you get up? What? How far am I in? <laughs> well, you hit the ground the turn before him, so I'm, not, I'm just going back and asking what you would have, what would have you, what would have you done? I am. Alive, so I'll try to get up and uh, I assume I'm in the middle of the street, so I guess get out of the street. Okay, well, no, you're not in the middle of the street. Well, where am I? Just like oh. on the back of his oh, tiny little okay. tower. Well, I just set up. 
Okay. Do I hear hand axe in the building? You hear him fall about 15 feet okay, from you around the tower. I'll try to get up and I'll try to go over here. Oh, we have a combat now. Yes. Oh, okay. So I believe yeah, at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for making that encounter so long. We've like we've definitely seen them get thrown out at this point. So did you think it? <laughs> no mission a three hundred year old enchanter can do. I don't know. I want to go in. <laughs> well, seems it's like a hoot. It is ten o'clock, so unfortunately, I think we'll have to end it. All right, I'll probably okay. yeah, and we'll pick up with you two entering the shop next time. <laughs> Wild. Does he have a hole? Yeah, I was gonna say because he folded it into a handkerchief, put it into his backpack, and then the bird or whatever sounded well, an alarm and then got yeeted out. So Well I mean it's it's a ten foot rug, so you can still see it sticking out of your backpack. But, no, but it folds, folds to the side of the handkerchief. handkerchief. That's what it says. Oh, oh okay, my bad. So it fits in the backpack. So, so like technically you're checking it, yes, you still have it. Hey, hey. hey. It was worth it. <laughs> Almost died, but got it. We'll have to see what happens next time. Right? Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. we should never come back to this town ever again. Maybe just we should like, just... Well, that was interesting. Let's <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we will have uh, a World Expanse campaign up next week, and then this, the next episode of this one up in two weeks as usual. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.